Uh, how do I grow it? Uh, I can't wait to go through your page. Well, I'll be honest with you guys. I am not really a, uh, I'm a clinician herbalist. I don't, uh, I haven't had an extensive amount of herb walks and, and working with plants like that. I've had some botany, but um, I've really never had a lot of that myself. You know, I've always thought, I wish that I would have come along and taken more botany and plants and stuff like that. I've tried to study as much as I could on the side, but, you know, I'm the point where I've spent a lot of years wrestling with all, just to get here. And, to, and to, to fight my way with the government to be able to get here. So, I mean, just all these things we've had. That's why you guys are going to take this and you're going to do far better things than wah. I'm here to just help you to get all the knowledge and you guys take it on out there. May I infer a question as to a substance contained within our sacred bread that mankind has eaten for millennia? The subject in question is never mentioned in our health and diet books, but we eat it to this day. Who purpurea, a very powerful vasoconstricting agent. I have done extensive studies regarding this entity. Thank you for your response. I'll have to look it up and uh, see what I think about that one. I'll be back. Dr. Morris, I just watched Dr. Oz, and he had on a guy who is telling women who have big bellies to eat a mostly protein diet with grains and on ice cream for dessert. And Dr. Oz allowed that. You see, this, this is where you get into medical doctors who straddle the fence. I'm sure why they don't get cut in the groin, you know. Uh, this is another straddler of the fence. Can't let loose of the medical thinking. This is the guy that took 12 people, was it, into a zoo and made them eat all raw and look what happened. And he allows somebody to come on and talk about high proteins on his diet there. It just shows you, you know, I mean, I'm not doubting him. I really appreciate his efforts out there to get people. But just remember, these guys don't have the answers they need. They're, they're, they're opening the doors into natural health. And, of course, when you open those doors, a lot of people go crazy, yummy, yummy, yummy. And I think Dr. Oz is one of those. You know, he finds everything fascinating in a world much different than his education was. So I applaud him for that, for sure. But some of the stuff, he's got to step back and realize that it just it isn't true. And, that, uh, and, and you also just got to remember, when you watch programs like this, that most of what you're going to hear probably is half truths and some of it not true at all and then some good truths. So just remember that and just have to filter through that. You were smart enough to catch that. See that? That poor lady that goes on a high protein diet probably will too, trusting in, in his concepts. But uh, that, that, that's a bad concept. High protein anything, very bad concept. All your great, great naturopathic physicians uh, homeopathic physicians of the 18, 1900s, uh, uh, 20th centuries, Nixe on protein A. Bad consciousness, bad, bad move. One love, one heart. Ha, oh, that's pretty cool. I love you guys are something else. Just these names you come up with just says a lot about you, you know. Uh, are potassium-rich fruits such as banana and avocados for someone with PKD? Absolutely. You can't stop the ingestion of the electrolytes like that. You have to understand that potassium and sodium is controlled by kidneys and adrenals. So you, you have, this goes back to that area of problems again. But also all the other mineral issues are also dealt with by the adrenals, except for calcium. Remember up here in the thyroid, parathyroid, calcitonin. Uh, that's where your D3 channel is, your parathormone. All these regulate blood level calciums, utilization of calciums by the body. Ah, K. Garrett grows plants. Hey, it's stupid. Uh, it's would you quit that? Get stupid again. Would you quit that? I I don't uh, really think I'm stupid. It's just my name. <laughs> no, no. Change your name, man. Change your name to Wonderful. Change your name to Wonderful. I was wondering. See, you were wondering, Mister Wonderful. If I could work out, go on honestly fruit and vegetables at night to detox and build muscle at the same time, whatever the answer may be, I'm wondering if 
in the winter when I'm not doing as much if I am all fruit diet would sustain them. Well, you probably want to do the opposite. Although cold does ignite detoxification, that I would think during the summer months is the time to detoxify. It'll balance the heat out. In the winter time, it would be time to build up. That would balance the cold out because you're going to use more amino acid rich foods which are going to be your vegetables. You'll probably do better in the winter with vegetables than fruits and you're going to do better in the summer uh, with the fruits and the berries and the melons just because of the heat which is acidic and all that. And then you can work out in the winter give you something to do. Uh, I would do that. If you're going to try to maintain uh, muscle and detoxify, you still got to use fruit at least most of the day and then your greens may be in between meals. You're going to be slower detoxing and if you do reach a plateau and you still have a health issue, you're going to have to forget about the muscles for a while and come back later. That's all I can tell you on it. Gabriel. St. Gabriel. I'm come. No, no, you want Gabriel. He's a good dude. How about St. Germain? How about all the Ascended Masters? Pretty cool dudes. Yep, each one has a different level to them. Keep it in mind. Hello and great day, Mr. Morse. I'd like to thank you, dear Gabriel. Thank you, my man. Love the name, by the way. Let me just say that you are shining the light on truth. Thank you, which emanates from you. Appreciate that. Sweet loving divine. Now, thank you. I, I, I'm right with you. Uh, a name like that would have the insight to see that. Good good man. So thanks for doing your part and coming into contact with you. Oh, thanks, my friend. My name is Gabriel, and I am a new subscriber. Well, welcome, new subscriber. Uh, I have been raw off and on for a few years, and now 100% again. Good deal. My question is regarding eating fruits with fats, like, for example, eating coconut oil with a fruit salad. Nice, oh, you could. Sure. I like coconuts on salads, fruit salads, myself. My question is regarding eating fruit. Okay, let me see. I'm past that. I am a pretty slender guy, 5'11", and weighing 129. You are a slender fella. Last time I checked and afraid that being strictly fruitarian, I may lose even more weight. Just mixing fats like coconut oil and or uh, 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 kego uh, with fruit cause fermentation. I don't think so. Thanks for, you'll find out if you get too much gas doing that. But listen, thank you a lot for subscribing, Gabriel. I'll say this, when you're thin like that, I want you to remember interstitial lymphatic constipation. I mean, that's very suggestive, my friend, that you're malabsorbed. We want to fix that and then start putting on muscle the right way. So fixing it does maintain thinness for a while, no question, but let's fix that. Get in, tear up the gut. Use a stomach and bowel for me if you can afford it. Use a lymphatic uh, one capsules. Uh, be excellent to clean up the gut. Try the uh, GI broom and really go after that and see how you fare on that. Knowing that your goal is to get absorption so you can put on good muscle and get that weight up just a little bit. That's what I would do. And I appreciate you tuning in, Gabriel. Good name. Uh, oh, this is your friend. Your friend has uh, been introduced to you through my friend Rohan. You have uh, Rohan. Is your friend, eh? Well, he's uh, he's one good friend. Like him a lot. Uh, had fun with him. Um, as a matter of fact, is that pretty? Rohan bought one, two, three, four, five more souls to the party. Not pretty. Thank you, Rohan. Hope you get to uh, New Zealand good. Help me with those uh, glandulars over there, would you, my man? I would like to move to New Zealand, but New Zealand's government is going wacko right now, trying to restrict their freedoms and stuff. I mean, what the hell is that? It's going to be up to all of us, Gabriel, and all of us to infuse the uh, higher consciousness to this planet so people go, oh, look, I'm uh, walking down the wrong path, especially governments against their people. I think it's, we've seen enough in the uh, Middle East and stuff to show that people are fed up with control and power freaks. Time to get rid of them. Uh, let me see here. Who just finished your class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sat here too. It was a true pleasure to see him. In, yeah. I have a question regarding eating fruits and fats. Oh, yeah. I took care of that on that one. Just uh, watch it because uh, you never know if you, you never know what problems you have. For example, if some of the thinness that you have is because of a pancreatic weakness, you might ferment your fruits and, and uh, veggies anyway because you don't have enough digestive enzymes. If that's the case, don't take digestive enzymes in my opinion. 
you would want to go after the pancreas and make it healthy and you would use pancreatic capsules on that and then just go after the lymph system because it's always the lymph system that in time breaks down the cells that do everything whatever it is steroids hormones digestive enzymes uh, 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 bicarbonate doesn't matter your 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 the whole goal here is the health of those cells that's where the buck stops is the cells that make up tissue that makes up the organs and glands blah 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 so the health of those cells, though, depend upon the nature of the pH of the body. pH regulates everything. If you look at this, is it, everything is just made of atoms. And atoms is, is just, like the, just, just like the planets. You've got a sun with revolving planets. The sun is the nucleus, and in that nucleus is hot protons, positive protons. Circling around are the planets of the electrons. And how those electrons wax and wane between all the elements and how that sets up solutions and its effect upon solutions and particles all make up the pH factors. And that all makes up of whether you're uh, absorbing, not absorbing, or whether you're utilizing, not utilizing the, the, the magnetics. That's why you can use magnetic therapy and you feel better because pH changes magnetics because it changes the nature of magnetism because it, it, it's all about magnetic bonding, it's all about the pH factors, and it's all about electrons and protons and ionization and oxidation. Seems like an intellectual bunch of stuff, but in reality, we're talking about that in class, there's a lot of theories that's, that, that support a lot of different ideas of how all this waxes and wanes in the body. So I don't go there because there's too many theories. There's at least three theories on one way, three or four theories another way, and if you'll notice, almost every biochemist has their own theory. But I don't want theories. I want actualities, what's factual, as much as we know. We can talk about theories, but we have to do it in the context of a theory instead of things that are factual. Allopathy considers a lot of these theories factual, whichever theory they're on. Like they're in the theory of uh, nitrogen and high protein, bad theory. They're in the germ theory, bad theory. So there's just a ton of bad theories out there. And you just have to realize that. That's why simplicity is always better. You'll find your answers better. You'll find a remedy better. You'll never find a remedy through the mind. The mind offers no remedy. It's an ongoing chattering machine that just don't shut up. So, check your pancreas for that thinness. And if you're digesting and you get gas with fruits and vegetables already, avoid them. Hi, Dr. Morse. What is your opinion uh, about zeolite? You know what? I don't use it. You know, I don't use it. I don't use anything that's too inert. I think that the salts are better. If you're thinking about uh, minerals, think more about salts. And I think you'll be better for the body. Although, if you think what appears naturally in fruits and vegetables. But the more inorganic a substance is, even though it's a byproduct of something, I'm real cautious. Some, I mean, this is where chemistry disagrees with between inorganic and organic. Uh, 